so in this video I am going to show you guys how sheet cam works click on the icon open it up a lot of times it will save the last sheet dimension you cut table dimension you can set it up so it always is the exact uh, let's say 5 foot by 10 foot table no big deal so as you can see I don't have any tools I don't have any operations this is all brand new I just updated it which is perfect because then I can show you guys how to use it so I need to upload tools if I go file open tool set you can see I already have them here in the downloads but I also re-downloaded them to show you guys how to do this so if I go downloads they're not in here but so what I need to do is open it up go to downloads I already downloaded the tool set <clears throat> this is a zip file so I need to physically extract extract all you can choose where they go you can go OneDrive, Plasma, Hypertherm um, as of right now I'll just put it on my desktop I'll select folder extract it is then going to unzip the compressed file there now I can load it into sheet cam so file open tool set desktop tool set from here basically you pick 45 to 105 tools if you ordered a table through boss tables this will already come preloaded and you won't have nothing to worry about so here they are labeled 45 amp 65 amp and this is a really good gauge of how what thickness you know you can readily cut with a 45 amp half inch quarter inch aluminum 45 amp quarter inch steel it's fairly self-explanatory so you can click here review the operation if you like but you can make changes as soon as you guys are more comfortable using the system change you know if you need um, different preset volts to adjust your height delay that you know I generally leave all of this alone and if I feel like I need to make an adjustment I do not save it that way I always have the skeleton of what I know works so now I have my tools I need to put some parts in there get some operations but that'll come in a little bit so basically this is just an overview so go look at this I can go new job I can open a job open a job template you know um, job templates you won't really use very much um, but definitely um, new job open job save job new part you know that's really good to know where it is import drawing is a good spot but you can also right click and just go new part if you want to import don't ask me again because I know what I'm doing and you will too import a drawing in this part yes from there you can find you know wherever your part is so not a big deal that way but that'll be in the next video so undo an operation that buttons also right there this toolbar is essentially this down here I always generally stick with this but either way you can use whatever you want but that being said options you know this this is really kinda where your bread and butter is potentially so your material every part that I nest is basically in this corner so inner coordinates 0 0 keeps it simple size you know pick if you got a 60 by 120 so 5 by 10 piece you know that's that's pretty straightforward so but as you can see the table is not as big as the steel so we also need to change that as well but you can save different materials you know so if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, let's say if it's not a steel drop that's four foot by three foot and you know what that size is you can save that right there right there and then you can always load that material so you don't have to redo any of, any of that um, parking you know zero 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 not a big deal you know if you want to use that you definitely can either way it's not a big deal um, optimization minimizes tool changes keeps part together um, path rules holes 
very nice feature that is basically brought to you by Command CNC on circle smaller than inch and a half feed set to 65% and output code. So basically, as it travels into the circle, it then cuts at 65% of the output. You can even change by double clicking, left double click, and change the circle to, you know, two inches, but 1.5 is fairly standard. So, no big deal. Uh, remnant cutoff don't use that a whole lot I usually just do that by hand but it's definitely a thing um, variables notes all that's pretty straightforward so machine you know this is what you want you want it set up as plasma laser water jet unless you're gonna be doing some milling or routing but that'll be in a different different time alright starting again pulse processor this is very important but basically my output files are always an inch. You can definitely use metric. It just depends on whatever you draw it in. Draw it up, whatever your machine is set to run, but generally it's going to always stay an inch. Remember, last folder is what I always use. That way it picks the USB flash card that I am using and it continually dumps in there if I'm looking to create more than one cuts of sheet. So, Z0, always top of work. So, pulse processor, this is a big one. CNC plasma. LL CNC Vision 24D. We are actually on Vision 27, I believe. So apparently, I need to get this computer updated. But that'll be in another video. Working envelope. This is basically the size of your table. So 60. 120 perfect so that is the size of your material that red icon in the corner so if you have a full 60 sheet 60 inch by 120 it then grows the exact size so it all depends you can definitely that way you can cut within the sheet that you ordered that being said, change my sheets so you guys can see the difference. This is the allotted room left over on the table. Could potentially, you know, cut this, zero my cut again, and then cut this out again, you know, either way. So, application options, you know, you guys won't really mess with this. Um, you know, it's not a, not a huge deal. This is pretty pretty straightforward. Inches, degrees, inch per minute. Um, import drawing, uncheck that. And then update operations and loading. I always leave that checked. Import drawing. Um, other than that, pretty good to go. Pretty pretty straightforward. Don't need to mess with that. Plug-in options. You know, this is this is if you are going to be using like my nesting, which is a, a plug-in for um, sheet cam. I personally don't use it. Um, it is definitely a nice tool. <clears throat> if I was going to auto nest, I would use Pro Nest, uh, which that'll be in a different video. But either way, so that's basically how you get your tools, material. Um, let's go through and get the pulse processor updated because I need to do that as well. Uh, go online. C and C and C. Basically, go to cncnc.com, support, downloads, come back to the same page I was just sitting on. Go to Linux Command CNC Post Process Revision 27C. So, show in folder, it's in this PC, downloads, and of course, it's on the bottom there. So, zip file as well and then go back to sheet cam options machine post processor then import post but I believe that I did not unzip the file so I won't be able to find it keep that in mind I'm gonna close out of this real quick 
Okay, file, downloads. And I need to extract all. Uh, you can go browse. Uh, you can put it right on the desktop, wherever you want to find it. No big deal. So, extract, do that for you. Then, go back to SheCam, Options, Machine, Post Processor, Import Post, Desktop, Found It, Import, Post Installed Successfully. Perfect. So, now that I have the correct tool set, I'm running the correct post processor. I'm running the jet cutting. You know, if I change that, hit a butt wrong button, not a big deal. It'll just change your operations. You know, just keep that in mind. It does happen if you're playing around. Machine. Yeah. Select that. Okay, good to go. So that is basically getting started. You are all set up, and we'll start importing parts on the next video.